football and, and those things. Um, he's working really hard in the weight room, adding size and bulk and those things that it takes to play in the Big Ten. And he's he's working at it. He's gotten stronger. You know, he really got kind of six months ahead. You know, so that was a big big thing for him uh, getting here. Because like a lot of the guys, he was a, more of a high school wideout and learning the jobs that that we do here on our offense. And, um, but from a football IQ standpoint, being here early was was big for him. So um, he had a really good spring. Excited for kind of where he where he takes off from here. How would you say How would you say Khalil uh, Dinkins' yeah. spring went, and how would you say he's progressed? Uh, to from when he got to Penn State until now, so. Yeah, I think uh, he had a really good spring. Um, you know, and just becoming a complete tight end. You know, when, when Khalil got here, he was 218 pounds, and so, mm -hmm. you know, he's putting on some really good weight physically, um, has gained tremendous uh, football IQ mentally, so that's been really, really good. Um, and, and transition to the college football, right? Like getting in the room with a Brenton Strange and Theo Johnson and Tyler Warren and see kind of what it takes you know, to excel, you know, in Beaver Stadium on Saturday. So, uh, but I was really excited about how he played this spring. Um, the reps he got, he got a ton of reps and, and was able to perform in some key situations. So he had a really nice spring. James spoke highly of Theo. Um, he said he stepped up as a leader um, past few months. 